you know how people are making so much money with TikTok shop right now? People are saying like, oh, this is like YouTube 2008 or like Google ads 2003, whatever. It's like one of those early in the cycle. This is the first one where I actually understand mechanically why it's working. Cause like we make content, we know how to drive action. The thing that I was thinking about is like, we have no product to push. It's so frustrating that if you have an e-commerce brand and you were as good as we are at making content, you'd be printing millions of dollars a year printing. immediately. The frustrating thing for me and you is like, we care about our trust so much with the audience. I'm willing to pump something that I really like, but I don't have a product to pump. All this horsepower and nowhere to gallop. I recognize the opportunity. I see how it's working. We'd be better at most people than doing it. And we just don't have anything to push. Yeah, man. I'm, it's like, I'm pretty good at recognizing these arbitrage opportunities. Like you said, it's super early cycle and the people playing in this now that are figuring it out now are going to reap incredible reward. I have some buddies actually who are just making ridiculous, obscene amounts of money on TikTok. So it does suck that we're not equipped to, you know, really take advantage of this opportunity. It's like, I wish that we had some sort of physical product, even if it was something simple, a hat, a shirt, some socks, whatever it would be just to take advantage. Cause I do think it's something that's going to slow down relatively quickly. I think early economics, it's obviously some sort of a, a loss leader. TikTok is willing to eat that billion dollar cost or whatever it will be to just get this engine running. Um, Cause they're giving everybody basically free money. I believe I forget how much like $10, $20, you can claim the coupon to go buy something on TikTok shop. All that will eventually run out just like anything else. It'll sort of even out to the point where there's not really like a early mover opportunity anymore. And it's just like, you know, par for the course, sort of like influencer marketing. When I was in there early, man, I was getting installs on my apps for like a penny. And now if you're going to go to an influencer, it might actually be cheaper nowadays to just run ads regularly native to the platform's ad spend. The same thing will work out like over time with TikTok shop. So it does suck. We're not equipped. But if anybody listening, if you are equipped, if you have a product, a physical product to sell and your margins are decent, you'd be a fool not to literally spend the next 72 hours just studying this and figuring out how you can leverage it and partnering up with creators to do so because it is a massive opportunity. I feel like the, so the, I agree the arbitrage will close in terms of like people with free money, but I, I don't think the the behavior pattern of people buying from short form, that's not going away. Like maybe TikTok shop is a, a shitty execution of it, but like I would be surprised if Instagram didn't eventually figure out how to get people to shop from shorts and have like that integrated experience. And I think, like you said, that maybe the margins or the economics won't be as favorable, but I do think that behavior is going to exist. Like it is now a new, it's like basically like a live shot. It's a new channel. And yeah, what's frustrating is like, if you think about like the tactic, I like getting in the weeds for people. So like, if you think about the tactics of us actually approaching it, like, let's say me and you were, we were like, yeah, we were, let's say we we're black hat and we were like, yo, we're like, we're making money from this one way or another. How could we do it? The easy way would be you go find a product that you like and you, and you take the 20% affiliate. So you basically like, let's take my boy, uh, Dan's like creatine gummies, which I take every morning. He's on TikTok shop. So I could, and I was, I was planning on doing this just to test, to see how it worked, like not to push it super hard, but like. I make a video about my health routine. I include the creatine gummies in the video. I link the creatine gummies. It's like 80 bucks to get a monthly supply and it's super fat margin for him and it's 20% affiliates. That's 16 bucks for me. So that's, that's, that's okay. Like that would work. The problem is you can't make more than one video or you're going to sacrifice audience trust. And I'm only getting 20 cents on the dollar. Like I want, I want the 80 cents. So one way is you do the affiliate thing, but you're going to risk audience trust if you don't, if you do it more than once. The other way is you go get your own product. And that's the other black hat option is like you go to the TikTok shop and you buy like a super crappy Alibaba knockoff product and then you own the product and you get the 80% upside, but then you sacrifice audience trust because the product sucks. So it's like both roads lead to product suck or losing trust unless you have a killer product. And I just don't think you can like manifest an amazing product that you own overnight. Like that takes it takes six to 12 months, you know, to incubate it. I agree with you. I mean, two things there. One on TikTok is, I mean, I think you can do multiple because the thing with TikTok is most of your audience probably won't be seeing that video anyways. It's all like, new, like that's the cool thing about TikTok is you can post a hundred video. Like you can just keep posting over and over and over. It doesn't really matter. Only the ones that hit the for you page for your audience, uh, are the ones that do matter to your already existing audience and very little, if you post a hundred videos, I would, I would wager that like maybe two hit that for you page, you know, to like your existing audience. I don't, so I don't think it's that, that big of a deal. So I think, I think you should actually do it if the, if the, if the product is quality. Um, but then the other thing, it's like, I agree with you that behavior, like everybody, I dude, so much shit that I buy is from Instagram or like a creator talking about something or some Instagram ad, TikTok. So a hundred percent, like the discovery is always going to exist. That behavior is always going to exist. And now you're cutting out like one extra step 
like going to Amazon or going to the product's website. You're just buying straight from the platform. So you're right. Like that's going to become bigger and bigger. I think Snapchat, Instagram, Twitter, everybody eventually goes down that route. But one thing that I have noticed is like audience fatigue is real. And I've already seen in my behavior and I've seen in a lot of TikTok comments and I feel like this is already permeating sort of that culture. But anytime you see eligible for commission, you're already, you're already training your brain to skip. And so, yes, it's going to be, by the way, the first time banner ads were out on the internet, I, I don't really remember, but I'm sure it was huge. People were clicking them left and right. And then you train your brain to just, same as uh, uh, X, Twitter ads. I just, when I see one, I just swipe. I don't even like bother to read anything. So like, I feel like the same thing might happen on TikTok where yes, if you're the best of the best, your ad will be seen because you're nailing the hook. You're figuring out the storytelling angle, da, 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 da. But like 99% of it would just be like the next banner ad where you're just like fatigued and, and you train your brain to swipe. And so that is the part where I feel like that could be a negative hit to your brand. If like when you're training your brain to swipe, oh, it's that same creator, that same dude doing another eligible for commission. I feel like that, like if, if you're doing that output like super, super heavily, it could be bad for your brand. But I don't know what you think about that, like that audience fatigue part. I think the V1 interaction design for short form video ads is suboptimal where like the way it is now, it really feels like you're putting an ad sticker. Like you're putting a, this is an ad, huge sticker over it. Whereas, and so, and so it's kind of like the psychology of the maker of the video is kind of saying, Hey, buy this. But I think what you want the psychology to be is like, Hey, look at me. Like th these are the things that I use. If you want to buy them here, they are. I don't care if you do or don't, you know, where you're not pushing. And so if you think about Instagram, there's a lot of dope people on Instagram that make videos where I'm just like, damn, that hat is sick. Or like, damn, they're like the, the bike they have is really cool. And if there's, if native tools develop where it's easy for that person, or even with machine learning to tag those in a way that I could purchase straight from video, but they're not being like peddlers about it. To me, that's the ideal, right? Because it's like reducing all the steps of like finding that bike, finding the brand, going to the site, clicking on it. It reduces all of that. So I kind of think, I do think TikTok, I don't know why this is, but it comes off a little cheaper, like a little, uh, I don't know, scammier is the wrong word, but like it just comes off a little like not nuanced. It's but Alibaba, Instagram, it's Timo products. It, it's like, it's, it's Chinese, you know, it's, it's not like, that's such an important note. Because the same way like Louis Vuitton would be horrified if they found their products being sold at, uh, sold at Marshalls or TJ Maxx. It's the same kind of thing here where it's like it almost there's almost like a reputational hit. If I were to see like a, if I were to see like ALD, like Emily on door, like if some if it was like eligible for commission and some dudes like holding up, it would almost be like a brand negative hit to me. Right. So it works for a specific type of product. But I, I think if you're really trying to build a brand, especially in like the luxury sector, I think it could be a negative hit just because what you said is right, man. It's like, it, it does feel a little cheap, like almost plastically, pl plasticky, like the Walmart brand of, of e -com. You know what I mean? So I, I don't know. That's an interesting but think thought. about, th think about like on Instagram when Amy Leon Dor posts a carousel and each picture is kind of like a model dressed in like the Amy Leon Dor fit top to bottom. There, sh there just should be an easier way for me to click on that and be like, I want that hat right now and not have to 100%. go to their site, right? So it's like, th that, that's something I was going to ask you is why, 